Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Shimmer Nicole, and today we're going to be doing some shopping. I'm currently at Target, I just left the gym. So we're currently at Target, and I need to pick up some more hygiene products. Last night I was in the shower, and two things occurred to me. One, I felt like my shower was like bare. So typically in my shower, I have products on a rack, and I just looked at it, and I felt like it was real bare, so. I was like, yeah, I need to get some more stuff. And then also, too, I'm not really necessarily happy with my shower gel right now. It's not giving me what it needs to give. I feel like it has a film on it, and I don't feel like squeaky clean, if that makes any sense. I feel moisturized, but not necessarily clean. So I want to try out a few new products. I've been seeing some of these online, as well as I have my eye on a few things. So we're going to go into Target, see what we can find. The parking lot is super packed so we're going to see how this shopping trip goes but we're going to get some new hygiene products and i'm excited so let's go into target and see what we can find all right i definitely need some new shampoo for the girls Let's see what they have. All right, you guys. If you're looking for a leave-in conditioner, I highly recommend this one. This is Cream Nature's Argan Oil. You have to shake it up so it looks like this. But highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Grab it. I actually love their shampoo as well. So I think I'm going to grab this one. I don't see the conditioner that goes with it, but I think I'm going to grab this as well because I like to use this on the girl's hair when I wash it at home. Okay, this has been my saving grace this summer. I use this with um, a little bit of highlighter on my legs so moisturizing stays on all day and it's not too greasy just don't over apply but gotta grab this one as well i've been hearing some really good things about this eos um brand for skincare so i'm thinking about it So want to get, let me see, we have, this one is the, oh, it's, uh, let me see, Icy Mint, and then this one is Rainforest Mint. I think I'm going to go with this one, um, Icy Mint, we're going to try this one out as well. Oh, wait, wait. They have other ones. <laughs> so, mild mint, clean mint, and then we have sparkling mint. Mm, let's see. Mm, that one says clean mint, and then that one says invigorating. Which one are we going with, y'all? Oh, there's a price difference as well. This one is, see that says $8.89. And then this one says 769. Not sure exactly why, but we're going to look at the amount. Same amount in each one. That's strange. Okay, so this one is going to help with this one helps with stains. This one is just a difference. Reinforcement. I think I'm gonna go with this one, you guys. We'll go with this one. Do that again. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. We're ready. All right. So I needed to get the hand soap for my downstairs bathroom. So we're gonna grab this. It smells really good too. Just gonna grab that. And now I also need deodorant. I have been um, liking the spray on deodorants now. Um, I just like them better. I don't feel like they leave a film under my underarms. So let's see. 
we are gonna go with we're gonna go with secret and we're going to get let's get this one this one is the wild rose but I like these because when I'm wearing clothes it doesn't stain my clothes and again it doesn't leave a film on me so we're gonna get this one so let me show you guys this is the body wash I currently have I'm not feeling it y'all I'm really not um I just feel like I don't feel clean when I use this one so I'm looking for another body wash I do however love their body scrub but the one that I like is sold out and that's because it's great um this one is crushed almond mango butter I'm gonna smell it and see what it smells like I don't really, let me see. I don't really get the mango. It says crushed almond and mango butter. I'm not getting any mango, I'm getting all almond. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna get this one. I'll just wait until I can find the one that I like. All right. I have an idea of what body wash I want. So we're going to look for that. Also, I'm not sure if I told you guys about the pink tax. So, anytime you're in the store and there's a unisex product for male and female, i.e. razors, like this, you're always going to pay more because it's pink. So, if I go, let's say these are $7.39 for three, right? If we go to the other side and find these same razors, it's going to be cheaper. They charge us more when anything is pink, i.e. this and this. It's razors, it's the same thing, right? So again, $7.39 for three. Let's go on the men's side and see how much it costs. So yep, they will charge you more. <clears throat> I'm looking for soap and I cannot find it. I went past it. Here it is. I'm looking for the Dr. Bronner soap. I want to try it. I have never tried it myself. So I'm thinking about getting this one. I'm going to smell all of these and see which one I like the most and read the backs of them. But I hear good things about Dr. Bronner. You can use these for multi-purpose uses. So we're going to grab this and or we're going to look at a few of these to see they have a whole row of them and I'm going to look at these and see which ones I like better but I think I'm going to grab this one all right you guys I want to see I want to try these exfoliating gloves for the shower we're going to try these oh this is a uh, let's see I guess a mint. All right, we want the gloves. I'm gonna grab these. All right, guys, you know I love Pixie. So this vitamin C remedy mask, love these. These are really hydrating, especially in the summertime if you have dry skin or you just want something that's going to give your face a little bit more moisture. Highly recommend these. And they have it in the rose and then they also just have it in the milk but I prefer vitamin C because vitamin C is brightening for the skin I love love soap and glories um, body scrub this is the flake away scrub let me show you guys what it looks like this is what it looks like it smells like sugar and goodness oh so good oh, it smells so good y'all let's see they have wait is this the oh that's the hand cream body wash the body shuffle Ooh, buff and ready let's see what this is oh they have the other smoothie scrub here too this one breakfast let me smell this This smells even better. Mm. 
all right you guys i also want to show you this one as well this is the three minical deep conditioner by aussie i've used this in the past and this works so well on my daughter's hair highly recommend all right you guys i done seen some stuff that's like catching my eye head and shoulders has a scalp exfoliator um yeah this is really interesting it is about ten dollars so it's basically like a scalp scrub before you wash your hair not sure how i feel about it but they also have this you guys apple cider vinegar rinse this is really good for you guys who have dermatitis eczema of the scalp um to help remove some of that buildup especially if you have like protective styles in your hair like braids sew-ins that sort of thing you can put this on your hair before you wash it to get that buildup off and then wash with whatever shampoo condition you have so i'm very interested in this product and another product i feel like everyone should have in their house is nizerol anti-dandruff shampoo nizerol is essentially um is a clinically is a little more um it's a stronger version of a dry itchy shampoo um i use this in the salon typically it is prescription for all of my clients who have dermatitis and any type of eczema of the scalp um, it helps to remove that buildup um, those large flakes and it's anti-inflammatory so it won't um, make your scalp red or dry highly recommend highly recommend see these hair products right here stay far away far 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 away they leave such a horrible buildup on the hair take this from a licensed cosmetologist stay away stay away how are you guys feeling about cetaphil like i know that a lot of dermatologists recommend it but i purchased this one a few months ago and when i tell you i was very disappointed it did not remove makeup i'm looking for a cleanser that i like that's hydrating but removes my makeup well and this one right here i did not like it at all so i'm still thinking about getting into the cetaphil brand but right now mm -mm. i'm gonna I'm a look and see what they have over here but again this does not remove makeup nearly as well as i needed to all right you guys we're gonna try this one it says removes makeup if this don't work I'm not gonna be happy but we're gonna try it again all right i need to get some feminine hygiene so i am always girl and i need wings baby so let's grab let me see we have that's um i need i need these so you see they have the sizing and all that so i'm gonna grab grab those oh wait honey pot has i heard i heard these pads are spicy y'all <laughs> uh, i'm not sure how that is if you guys have tried honey pot let me know they said that these are some spicy pads and i don't know if i want my girl to be spicy um yeah it, it'd be enough going on down there i don't need spicy uh -uh. what else do i need i'm thinking of if i want to get another one of these so we also need i like this one i know they changed the formula and everybody was like up in arms about it but i still do like it i use the sensitive one so yeah i'm going to grab this as well and i also like this toothpaste sensodyne i have really sensitive teeth and this toothpaste works really well for me um so i'm going to get the extra whitening because you guys know all i do is smile um so yeah i'm going to grab some more toothpaste So this is not a hygiene product, but highly recommended. This lash glue by Duo, get it. Like this is the best one I've ever used. Um, I've been buying, oh, here's another one. Um, I've been buying or tried out some other ones recently and I am not impressed. And I always go back to this one, dries quick. Don't have to worry about it. Highly recommend and it's only $5. I low-key got sidetracked. I found a pair of jeans that were going viral on TikTok. So 
If you guys are not following me on TikTok, make sure you are because I'm going to be showing you guys the jeans. They fit amazing. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Did you want to purchase any bags? No, I have one. All right, you guys, it's 97 degrees out here. I'm trying to rush home and I will show you guys everything that I got when we get there. Okay, you guys, we are back from the store and ah, I have my Target bag. In New Jersey, they just made this law that we can't use plastic bags, so you have to bring your own reusable bag. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. I'm going to make it simple and quick and we're going to just run through this. So um, I know this is supposed to be a hygiene um, type of video, but I wanted to also show you some of the things that I picked up because technically it's a part of health and wellness. So the first thing that I picked up was more of my Oli Women's Multivitamins. I like these, one, because they're gummy and I can remember to take these every morning. Um, I keep these in my room and I take two every single day. Um, another product that I have been loving, I just literally just started these and um, I wanted to get some more. So these are the melatonin gummies. It's by Sundial and these are really inexpensive but um, these help me go to sleep at night. Again, I take two of these each day and they are bomb. Um, I showed you guys this in the store. I picked up another Pixie. This is the vitamin C um, mask. Again, brightening and toning. I do want to open it. Hold on one second so you guys can see um, what they look like. It's not like a traditional facial mask. This one is, it has like a jelly type consistency. Um, it feels really, really good on the skin. I keep these. Oh, and I forgot. It has the, on the side of it, it has a scooper. So you just have to press it up. Ah, and you can just scoop out the product that way and apply it directly to your skin. I actually use this while I'm in the shower, so I will um, wash my face and then I will apply this. And then I usually use these on the nights where I am doing my full body routine. I'm exfoliating, I'm shaving. I don't know what's going on with my dog down there, <laughs> but I'm exfoliating, I'm shaving, all of that good stuff. This is when I typically use this. So I apply this to my skin first, shave, exfoliate, do whatever I need to do in the shower, and then I rinse this off last. Highly recommend these. This purchase is for, yeah, not a part of the hygiene routine, but I had to get it anyway. Um, <laughs> so again, I showed you guys my deodorant while we were in the store. This is the secret dry spray um again i like spray on deodorants now because they don't stain my clothes and i don't feel like i have a buildup underneath my underarms i do exfoliate my underarms as well and i do shave but i just prefer the spray on deodorants now that i've been switching so this one is the one i grabbed also you guys i'm gonna have a link to all of this stuff in the video description so don't worry if i go too fast i just don't want the video to be too long um so this is, out of all of the things that I purchased, I think this is the one product that I'm just like, I'm praying that I like it because I'm going to be pissed. This, <laughs> this is the CeraVe. This is the cream to foam cleanser. Again, I used CeraVe before and I didn't care for it too much because it did not remove the makeup. But this one says removes makeup, so I'm going to try it again and see how I like it. I am going to be filming an updated shower routine and I will be using um, probably most of these products. And you guys will see um, how that goes. So... We're going to try this one out again. Um, I also got the Eco Tools. This is the bath and shower gloves. These are great for exfoliating as well. This is like a gentle exfoliator, but it really does help um, in the shower to get those hard grease places if you have like a small towel. But I just like to be able to, you know, pour my soap in my hands and kind of just do that. And I also, I picked up the... Dr. Bronner's. I actually got the original, which was the blue one. I grabbed a small bottle of this because I do want to try it out with the new gloves and see how that works for my new shower routine. I will update you guys as soon as I do that video. But I tried this one. I'm going to be trying this one as well. Actually, now that I'm home, I can open it. So let's do that because I want to see how it smells. Um, it says peppermint. Uh oh. It says peppermint um, on the bottle. So. Oh, it smells good. It smells like it smells like peppermint gum. Okay. We're here for it. We're here for it. 
I also got some more Dr. Teal's. This is the Foaming Bath and Epsom Salt. This is the Relax and Relief. Um, I stand up all day on my feet. I'm a hairdresser. And this works really well for times that I'm getting in the bath. And I want to soak my feet and soak my body. Or even just me in my gym routine now. I've been lifting pretty heavy. So this is a must have for me for the nights that I am trying to relax. And I'm in the tub. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I'm running out of space on my desk. <laughs> um, so we got the Thayer Breath. We have the Oil Rinse. This one says Fights Breath Breath for 24 hours. Again, this is a new product that I'm trying. And this one is in the Invigorating Icy Mint. So typically I use um, Listerine, but I wanted to try something that wasn't as strong. So we're going to see how this works. I've been hearing some really good things about this. So if you guys have tried this, um, not even this one, or if you tried any of the other um, Thera Breaths, let me know in the comment section because I am trying to figure out which one I like. And you guys have tried it and I have it. So this is going to be my first time trying this one out. Really excited about that. Um, again, I also got some... I'm hand soap for my downstairs bathroom. It's not necessarily hygiene, but it is because, you know, it's hygiene. Keep your hands clean. So I got the milk and honey. I I usually get soft soap for downstairs. Um, I don't go into Bath and Body Works and spend $25 on hand soap that my kids are going to waste and go down the sink. <laughs> um, also, I grabbed this for the kids. Um, this is the Banana Bolt. This is the Protect and Hydrate 2-in-1 Sunscreen and Moisturizer. It is summertime right now and my kids are in a day program. So um, when they do go outside, I like for them to be um, protected by the sun or even just outside in general so this is easy because you can spray it on and it's not sticky so I do like this and if I'm going to be outside let's say I'm walking or I'm hiking or something like that for one of my workouts I will spray this on my arms and if I'm wearing shorts I will spray this on my legs because sun protection is a must especially for people who have hyperpigmentation like I do or if you just have melanin in your skin and you want to protect your skin highly recommend this 10 out of 10. Um, we have a few more products in here. Oh, three more products, and they're all by the same family. This is... Oh, yeah, I might as well just put those back in here. So these products are all by Cream of Nature. Um, this is hair care. I typically use this on my daughter's hair when I'm washing their hair at home. I did show you guys these in the store. This is the Argan Oil. This is the hair moisturizer. This is what I use when I am wash oh I'm not washing but this is what I'm use what I use when I am blow drying their hair when their hair is still wet I apply a few drops of this onto wet hair and then I blow dry um this is the shampoo it looks like this sulfate free I like this one because it is rich and it's creamy you don't need a lot of this product and a little goes a long way and it does clean their hair without stripping the natural oil so I like this as well especially for a over-the-counter and non-professional brands highly recommend this and this can be used on every hair texture it doesn't have to be for african-american hair or you know textured hair this can be used on everybody's hair i really do like this and again it does leave a nice soft um silky feeling to the hair so i can grab this and a product again that i would highly recommend for everybody's hair is the leave in this is the strength and shine leave-in conditioner um you do have to shake this product up as you can see like I said, if it's not yellow like this, they mean shake it up. But I use this on everybody. Myself, clients, if um if I buy it, I want to take it to the salon. I love this stuff. So highly recommend. Oh, almost forgot one product, you guys. Um, this is the Olay. This is the rinse off body conditioner. I have purchased this in the past. I still like this. This is what I use when I am exfoliating and I feel like I've exfoliated my skin to death <laughs> and I want to put in a little more moisturizer before I hop out of the shower so this is a skin conditioner so I exfoliate I wash exfoliate and then when I'm in the shower I will the squeeze tube is at the bottom I'll squeeze this onto my skin and it just really helps to lock in moisture onto my skin and then when I get out of the shower I can properly moisturize so this is again it's the oil a this is the wrist off body conditioner and this one has shea butter in it so this is the last product that I picked up. Okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this hygiene shopping trip. Um, everything I picked up was from Target, but again, they do have it online and at other retailers. I will have everything listed in the video description so you guys can go online, price compare, see exactly what everything is. If I spoke too fast because 
I was going off. <laughs> so if you guys want to see what all of these products are, and again, just look online and do your own research, which I highly recommend you do. I will have that in the video description. So if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to thumbs up this video. It lets me know that you enjoy these videos and it also supports the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Shamir Nicole and I will see you guys in the next video.